In this video, I am going to discuss about how to read file contents by using csop.net. So this is the code to read the file contents. So add here the first uh, we need to include the system.io namespace because a stream reader class. So this stream reader is the class the all definition written inside io namespace and hereafter I used to try and catch so if that to find any kind of exception in the program then that handle by the catch so suppose if user enter wrong path then that comes to catch and here that to masses or display the file could not find and here console dot right line and e exception masses now here after so if you take the cursor on a stream reader so with the help of a stream reader class we can read the characters from the file so here you get this definition implement text reader that read character from the byte stream in a particular encoding so this is the use of uh, uh, this stream reader class and here class system io and here stream reader so this inherit uh, stream reader and uh, that took uh, all the definition of stream reader or class that comes under io namespace and here sr is the object of stream reader and with the help of new keyword this is the stream reader constructor and there so if you take the cursor again so here initialize new instance stream reader a specific file and here you can maximum load 10 so here or uh, this place i i have given the file path okay so here at this place see user adam desktop ruby file and json dot txt so this uh, file that i'm going to uh, read inside uh, a console of uh, c -sharp. so here let's uh, see this file first so see user no adam here after desktop and uh, here ruby and uh, here file so this is the json file text file is there 8 kb is the size if i click on so this is the contents inside the json file now here after let's uh, minimize and uh, so this will uh, read so if the file path correct then that will read and here after a string type variable that i have taken str and sr that to uh, that is sr is the object of string reader so this will so here read line if i use so uh, at this place so dot sr is the object of string reader and if i press dot so here you can use uh, various method uh, various uh, methods such as read line read to and read to end so if i use uh, read line okay so read line so this will uh, read only one line and here after console.write so whatever that read that go to str and that print uh, on the browser str value so let's execute and check the output now here you can see 100 first line or the value it's a uh, displaying you can compare with the files so this is 100 is even now if you want to uh, read the all contents so you need to use sr and here read end and uh, if you take the cursor on read end method the rest to uh, read all the character from current position to the end of the stream so it will read the current position to end of the stream now if i run the program once again then uh, here this 
so it's now here you can see the all contents th from current position that read all contents okay and if a uh, user given or a wrong path or wrong or the file doesn't exit so json1 is not inside there then that comes to catch and here the file could not find that message must be display so here you can see the output that comes to catch block and here the file could not find and here e exception this is the exception it's a exception message it's a displaying so this is the very simplest code to read the files by using csr.net so here you can use the csv file if you want to read a csv file so let's uh, check uh, which is the csv if I go ABC and uh, details, so ABC is the CSV file. So I want to read uh, all CSV. So let's uh, give ABC and extension CSV. Now, if you execute, then that will read uh, the all contents inside CSV file. So this is the content inside CSV file. It's uh, reading. Okay. So here you can use HTML whatever you like. So this is the simplest uh, program to read to the contents by using csr.net. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.